Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I decided I'd do a little whip and chat with this square project that I've been working on on the side. And I just wanted to give you some updates because I've been updating Instagram and Facebook, but if you don't follow me over there, you might not even know that I'm working on this. So this is a square painting by Yogo Top. This is a black and white rose and I'll have the link in the description down below. I have the unboxing of this painting up in the eye. Just click up here if you want to see that. But I just wanted a little snack painting, something to do in the living room that's easy to work on this easel that I have here. I, I purchased this from Amazon. I'll put the link for that as well down below. Um, but I wanted to show you what's going on. So basically I started this painting thinking that I would be able to finish it quickly. Um, while it is going pretty quick, I have a lot of other projects going on at the same time, like my cross stitching and my diamond art club, which is sitting just over here off, off screen. But I started up here in this corner and I started working over and then I worked down and then I'm working this away. Now I was going to cut this in half, but I felt like because this painting has so many colors in it that it was just easier to work in one big section rectangle at a time. So I'm going to move you down just a little. There we go. Just so you can see where we're at. Kind of manipulate the camera there a little bit more. Sorry now. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to pick a color and we're going to go for it. And if I need the light pad, then I'll put it on. But I'm going to try to do the light symbols that are up here. And I might even bring you closer while we're talking. Okay, folks, sorry about that. So now that we're readjusted, I'm working on number 154. And that is kind of like this purple color, which I really love. I've got you at this angle because I want you to be able to see what's happening. Um, whoops, phantom drilling. <laughs> I want you to be able to see what's happening while I'm drilling. And I also want to show you that the drills are popping everywhere. I mean, I can run my hands over this surface and I can feel all of these drills just popping up. Now I'll show you when we're done talking, I suppose, because you really will want to see this. Um, it's hard to even put into words because I feel like a lot of people have been talking about popping drills lately. It is not a new phenomenon and it isn't something that only happens with square either. That is a big misconception. But... One of the things that I've had issues with lately are, you know, companies sending out these canvases and they have really, really bad diamonds, which makes it impossible to diamond paint or it makes it very frustrating. I've been holding it in for this one because, <laughs> well, I'm going to, I'm going to let the company know what I think when I'm finished with it. This one is kind of a, because it's a snack painting, I was originally going to give it to my my workplace, but now I've decided against that because it is poor quality. Hi, Luna. Luna says hello. Um, so I want to finish it so that I can send them a picture of it and be like, look, <laughs> this is this is what we're dealing with here. And if you notice, I'm working one diamond at a time. Get off of there, dog. Sorry. She's being a bit extra today. So, today is my birthday. And I just got back, just got home from a really fun trip. We went to a lodge called Sheen Falls. And they are fantastic. It was a really nice night. I only stayed for the one night. We had dinner and drinks and 
It was really, really fun. We don't really do that kind of stuff very often, so when we're able to do it, it's always such a special treat. And I managed to catch a, a good, what, two minutes <laughs> of Stephanie's live stream. I miss Dearly's completely because I was in the middle of, where were we? We were in dinner, I think, at that time. Or we were going to the leisure center or something like that, which was really funny. When you, you know, when you work for a place and then you go to a similar place that you don't work for, but it's in your realm of work, working, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I work at a leisure center in a hotel. So going to a leisure center in a hotel now is kind of like, Oh yeah, <laughs> I get it now. Um, you can kind of commiserate with the workers. That one is too bad to use and that sort of thing. So that was really fun. It was really good. And the, the dinner was delicious. I had foie gras. It was my first time, my first and only time, I'd say. And of course, because I had that, I had the duck breast as well, which is delicious. Oh my gosh. It came with like a beetroot, beetroot side, Luna. Sorry. It came with a beetroot, kind of a steamed beetroot, and it also had this lovely puree. And it was very, you know, because it's a five-star place, they, you know, it was a little bit, the portions were a bit smaller than what we would expect for paying that price, but isn't that just the way it is? But anyway, we got sides of potatoes as well, <laughs> because you can't not have potatoes. And um, we had our dessert. That was delicious. Of course, I had the dark chocolate tart. Um, and no, I didn't tell anyone that it was my birthday because I didn't want to be embarrassed. Not that I think that that sort of place would actually sing you happy birthday or anything like that. But, ooh, if you can hear those noises, that's actually the wind blowing stuff around outside. And if you're wondering, this pen, I actually modified it myself and I am selling them over on my Facebook page if you're interested in purchasing one. So go over there and check it out if you like it. At the moment, I'm only selling outside of the United States. So again, I'm really sorry to any of my stateside friends who want a pen. At this time, I'm not doing it, but I may be doing it in the future. I think maybe come the 1st of March or mid-March, maybe. The biggest reason was because I didn't want to go into any sort of, you know, competition or anything with a, with my friends, so that's why. But I think that we will be able to soon, because I kind of got a an okay, but don't get too excited now. <laughs> I don't know when. I do need to get more pens in first and I want to do some more testing on them because I like the idea of them but I also want them to be a good quality. So that's something that I'm doing right now. I am, oh, if you noticed I have some paint on my fingers 
And that's because I was working on my paint by number. Technically, I finished it about a week ago. I'm in the middle of making my post review, and in order to do that, I actually wanted to go ahead and make sure that all the lines are gone. So any any lines that you could see in the lighter areas, I'm going to make sure those are gone. Now, yeah. hopefully that is a little bit better. So, yes, that is where we're at at the moment with the pens. I, I love this pen, though. I really do. One day I'll give it up. <laughs> this pen will have to go to a very special home. But the pens are just for fun and very limited. So <laughs> I hope I didn't offend anybody by saying that I wasn't selling to Americans yet. Don't worry. You'll get you'll get something soon. Don't worry. Um I can't help that I'm overseas. <laughs> And it does make things a little bit difficult. I was just watching Kryla Pix there um, talking about basically the the downside of being an expat is, you know, you really miss stuff, really random stuff. And it's hard to get them when you live abroad. And uh, in some countries charge you much more than than what it's worth, really. Even with the shipping fee, I think it's a bit outrageous to pay eight dollars can eat or eight dollars Australian for a bag of Cheetos. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, girl. <laughs> but um, I'm lucky to live in Ireland. I think that we have a lot of the same things, you know. I think the only thing so far that I have actually missed. Things like um, plain potato chips. That doesn't exist in Ireland. Mm. Excuse me, I really needed a, a tea break. So, but it's little little things that don't really matter all that much, you know. That uh, that I miss. <laughs> The big things are like, you know, the Chinese food and all that. But I think those are all the updates. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to tell you all. But to be honest, I just wanted to upload a video. Just a quick kind of off the cuff thing. Just to say, I'm here. <laughs> I didn't disappear. Um, but it is my birthday and I really appreciate all of your well wishes. I keep seeing lots of comments and Mrs. Coffee even made a thread <laughs> in the Facebook group, which is really, really sweet of her. Um, just to just uh, have everybody say happy birthday to me, which is so sweet, you guys. You don't have to do that. <laughs> but um, I think I'm going to Relax the rest of the night. Maybe watch a movie or something, you know? Go to bed early, that sort of thing. Um, head's a bit sore after the wine last night. <laughs> I wonder why. But it was really fun and so fantastic. And I kind of thought that it would be uncomfortable almost, if you know what I mean uncomfortable to enjoy that kind of expensive thing. I don't know how to explain. Sorry, I'm just moving you a little bit so you can see the rest of these symbols. But um but it wasn't. It wasn't that that weird. You know, it wasn't like we were surrounded by aristocrats or something. Do you know what I mean? Now Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean. 
As I was running my fingers across this canvas, a drill actually popped off completely. So I think it's important to show you all what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can focus here. Um, bear with me one second. Okay, it's a little hard to achieve without getting all up close and personal with this, but here is where the drill actually fell out. As I was rubbing the canvas earlier. Let's see if you can... Sorry. Here's the top view. And then if we kind of zoom in a bit, like this. It's still really hard to see. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. So, and you see here, all along here, buckling. Zoom this part. Do you see these as well? This one. All of them. All of these. All of those. These. Yeah. And it just keeps going and you can see. See all them? Up here? All of that. See, yeah, they're not fitting together very well, and it is disappointing. And then I posted this picture of how blurry the symbols are, so it is hard to distinguish, especially in here. There is a star, or sorry, um, a diamond, a spade, and another symbol and an oval as well, and they all just blend together, and you're just like, what am I looking at? <laughs> what color goes here? So there was a lot of guesswork happening. But I think, I think this rose will look really good when it's complete, and if I finish this, um, you'll, when I finish this rather, you'll see it straight away on Instagram. And I might do like a, a post review on it as well, um, just buyer beware. Squares are still popping, even from other companies like Yoga Top. I don't know where they f source their drills, but this was purchased right before Christmas. I think I got it right after Christmas or the new year. So, yeah. Anyhow, guys, that's just a quick little update um, on my current living room whip. And I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all very soon in my next video. And I hope you have a great weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye.